Here's a question for you. What is true? Wouldn't it be great if truth were as concrete as, say, arithmetic, that you could prove it like a mathematical equation showing on paper how you arrived at the answer? As math teachers love to say, show me your work. In a democracy, this systematic pursuit of truth is called journalism. It is a profession in which students are trained to acquire facts and present them in a way that clearly and concisely allows the reader to come to a conclusion that is true. Here is the problem. Over the last 15 years, half of all newspapers in the United States have shut down and the internet is allowing anyone with a keyboard to present thoughts as truths. What is to be done? One answer is called Chalkbeat. Chalkbeat is an award-winning nonprofit news organization dedicated to local education journalism. Reporters are based in bureaus across eight states and cover the ongoing effort to improve schools for all children, especially those who have historically lacked access to a quality education. Chalkbeat's stories have spurred real-world change in its communities, holding institutions accountable, amplifying students' voices. Just say, say a couple things you've got on your list. And serving as a reminder of the power that local news has to make an impact. In three quarters of a mile, turn right on Joy Road. There's never been a more important time to be an education reporter. Students have been through a very, very difficult year of not just a public health crisis, but also a racial reckoning that has brought to the forefront painful reminders of their daily oppression. Public schools are the heart of democracy in the sense that that's the place where we say everyone should have an equal opportunity, everyone should have access to the same education. I'm the heart of democracy. So I think it's really fundamental to the American promise, but I think it's also a really good example of how America will fall short of that promise because the schools aren't equal. The students are still largely separate by race and income. You so hard. <laughs> My child is not worth less than your child because you live up in a different zip code than I do. Hi. I'm a news reporter working on a story about the school they're trying to put in here. I was drawn to the fact that Chalkbeat viewed education as an equity problem, as a justice problem from the start. I've heard people say, oh, that sounds like advocacy journalism. Journalism is, is about writing the truth. And the truth is that black kids in Michigan do not get the same opportunities on average that their white peers do. People talk about the school closures in Detroit and especially Chicago as like ghost stories because people have so much emotional connection to their schools and then they close and it's like, it rips your heart out. We prioritize covering close. communities who are the most in need of what public education promises. We really value the importance of providing a voice to the people that matter the most in the system. And the people that matter the most are not the administrators. They are not just school board members. They are the students, the parents who just want to ensure that their kids are getting a good education in a city that has struggled to do that for so many years. And when you can start from that level, it produces compelling reporting and writing. Detroit Public Schools Community District is one of the most egregious examples of educational injustice in the country. Before I arrived in Detroit, a group of students filed a federal lawsuit saying that the state, by failing to invest in the Detroit District, had effectively robbed them of literacy. We're writing about one of the 
worst educational disasters in U.S. history. You're talking about generations of people who didn't get the sort of basic supports that our society is supposedly guaranteeing them. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Education's pretty helpful if you want to exercise those rights. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The state initially took control of the district back in 1999. They finally got local control back in 2017 and hired a superintendent who had a track record of turning around the school district. And that story of the transformation, that was a national story. I was an education reporter at the Detroit Free Press for almost 19 years. I started there in 2000. When I came to the Free Press, I was one of a handful of education reporters. And then we started to see shifts in traditional media. Advertising was down. And when I left, I was the only person covering K-12 education. And it was really difficult because I knew in my heart that the Detroit School District was, it was a national story. All eyes were on Detroit. So when Chalkbeat reached out to me, I just saw so many opportunities to do the kind of work that I want to do. So I grew up in Chicago, the daughter of a single mother who was a teacher. It never clicked in me growing up on the South Side, attending all black, low-income schools that that was somehow, or that could somehow be a barrier for me. I felt leaving high school Given the grace that I got, I thought college is going to be a breeze. And I was struggling in every single class except for my English class. More people need to understand the struggles and the challenges facing these kids. 